I'm absolutely delighted now to be joined by Karen Pincos, who, as you know, is the incoming ICMA uh, president. Karen, welcome. Thank you. Thank you very much indeed for uh, joining us today. It's great to be here. So, congratulations. Thank you. So, what, what are you most looking forward to becoming ICMA president? Um, well, there's a lot involved in being ICMA president. Um, I do travel a lot to a lot of the state associations, to regional conferences, to other countries, um, and meeting new people and being able to sort of spread the good word about ICMA and good local government. I'm really passionate about it, really enthusiastic about it, and it's, it's just fun to meet friends and colleagues all over the world who share that same passion that I do. And what are you looking forward to get done? So, a few of the things that I'm looking to focus on, um, kind of using Envision ICMA, which is a strategic plan, as our guide and our roadmap. Um, one of the things that's really important to me, I can't ignore it, it's kind of obvious, I'm only the fourth woman president in ICMA history. Um, for the first time, I will be followed by another woman president, which is huge and very significant. So, I have to make sure that I'm promoting women in the profession, that I'm promoting people of color in the profession, I'm promoting women of color in the profession, underrepresented groups, gender identity, ethnic identity, disability, age, leadership, level, everything. We want to make sure that we have a diverse organization because that brings more creativity, more innovation, more flexibility. Homogeneity doesn't, you know, it's not as spontaneous and, and creative. And so making sure we're an agile organization that responds and is an organization for everyone who wants to be a part of it and belong. So it's great to be here in Baltimore, uh, surrounded by your uh, colleagues. And uh, when you look around you, what do you think are some of the main challenges facing uh, city managers today? I think a very big challenge is a, sort of in these times, this political climate that's happening right now, and this is actually happening worldwide. Um, I was just in Australia, and their prime minister just changed. I was in England, and they have Brexit going on, and here in our federal government, all the, all the all sorts of stuff going on. I, th I think it's interesting as local government professionals how to deal with the impacts of the stuff that's out of our control, particularly at the federal and state levels, and how we have to deal with that on the ground. I think that civility has been um, challenged. Sure. It's a big, uh, even, even people who tend to be on our side in cities, I guess, uh, for lack of a better phrase, but people who support you, there, there's a bit of a sense of outrage, there's a bit of a sense of, of, of even sometimes nastiness that, that we have to all kind of take a step back and, and kind of remind ourselves we're a community and how to continue to foster community and, and, and be there for each other so that we can get back to doing, you know, our, our civic participation and, and being all part of it, one community, not, not against each other. One of the things that people have talked about quite a lot uh, around the conference and against that uh, backdrop that you just alluded to is leadership. So how do local leaders show leadership? I think that being in tune with their community is incredibly important. I think that understanding their community, knowing what, listening, listening is a big deal. We don't know everything. We need to ask people questions. We need to understand what their needs and desires are. And then how do you articulate those values that you're hearing into operations and into policy that you recommend to your councils? How you exercise leadership in by listening and by having sort of complete that circle of, of recommendation of good policy based on community engagement, that takes a lot of fortitude, it takes a lot of thought, and it takes a lot of, of understanding and self-awareness of how you can use your own skills to be able to translate that to what's best in policy. Well, Karen, thank you very much indeed for joining us today. We really appreciate it and the best of luck for, for the year ahead. Thank, thank you. Thank you so much. Great to be here. ICMA TV has plenty more exclusive content from the conference, which you can check out using the links to the right. Be sure to check back each day for brand new interview stories and coverage from the show. You can also travel back in time and revisit 12 years of ICMA TV by checking out our channel.